This is Source Fed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. What's the favorite part of the brain for you? Uh, the medulla oblongata, or the hypothalamus, or the frontal cortex. Those are all I'm out. I'm out of brain. I don't know anything else. Scientists are embarking on a project that, if successful, will make it so scientists will never have to think again. Ever. It's brilliant, really. At least that's how I read into this story. 200 smarties hailing from all over the frick are joining forces with $1.6 billion for the Human Brain Project. This European Commission brain child. You like that? Yes. Yeah. We'll be based in Switzerland and the project is being hailed as the Large Hadron Collider of the Brain. The Human Brain Project is going to dive into a pool of gray matter and try and comprehend and map our brains. How does this jello mold in my skull think? How does it process and feel emotions? Why is it conscious? There are a hundred billion neuronal connections firing off and filtering all sorts of signals and synapse jumpers and the project hopes to recreate this complex system. According to the Globe and Mail, the project aims to translate it into a multi-layered supercomputer simulation. And Swedish Nobel laureate Torsten Weissel forced it. Torsten. Torsten Weissel. I don't know how to do Swedish and I'm sorry. HPP will be a driving force to develop new and still more powerful computers to handle the massive accumulation of new information about the brain. While the neuroscientists are ready to use these new tools in their laboratories, this cooperation should lead to new concepts and deeper understanding of the brain, the most complex and intricate creation on Earth. Oh, okay, scientist guys, getting a little cocky about the human brain there. The Human Brain Project could very well be the next step in creating human-like robotics, which is equal parts fascinating and frightening. Researchers hope advances in neuromorphic computing and neurorobotics will result in computing systems based on the circuitry of our think sponge. And an added bonus of this 10-year project could be further understanding of neurological disorders like depression, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. And you know why I'm never completely happy with myself. <laughs> Joe, do I look pretty? Tell me I look pretty. You look very pretty. I don't need your words! <sighs> okay guys, first of all, in the comments down below, tell Lee she's pretty. She <laughs> To tell her she's pretty, so don't I don't have, have to. to do it anymore. And also, what do you guys hope researchers get from this ambitious project? Let us know. Also, like, subscribe, do all the annotation, and go into sourcefed.com stuff. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Lee Newton. And you're very pretty. Thank you. You're good. Thank you. And you're smart. And people like you. <laughs> That's so out of the blue. Yeah, I know. That came out of nowhere. Did I fill my quota for the day? Do I have to do it anymore? Oh my God, you're embarrassing me. Ha, 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 ha.